Reports in Italy are stating that the Ruslan Malinovsky January transfer deal is now off. Fabrizio Romano, the Italian journalist and transfer expert, has stated that Jonathan David would be a good option for Spurs and Antonio Conte. Rian Skinner on the WSL defeat on Sunday. The FA Cup tie against Portsmouth has now been confirmed. Three Premier League fixture changes and Richarlison and Perisic on target in the World Cup on Monday. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. So let's start by talking about our FA Cup game against Portsmouth in January. The club have announced their FA Cup third round time of Portsmouth at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium will take place on Saturday, the 7th of January, with the kickoff time at 12.30pm. It'll be the first time that we have taken on Portsmouth in almost 13 years, having last faced the South Coast side in the semi-finals of the competition at Wembley Stadium in April 2010. We lost 2-0 that day after taking the game to extra time. The League One side entered the competition this term in the first round and earned a 3-1 away win at Hereford and then 3-2 home victory uh, against MK Dons to reach this stage of the Cup. On Monday, the Premier League broadcast selection process for February uh, was completed with each of our three home fixtures rescheduled for TV coverage. Uh, as we face three huge clashes at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in February with the visits of Manchester City, West Ham United and Chelsea, each game has moved a day later and has a new kickoff time. All three matches have been moved to a Sunday slot and will be broadcast live on Sky Sports. But while our fixtures with Manchester City and West Ham will now kick off at 4.30 uh, p.m. UK time, our encounter with the Blues uh, moves to an earlier slot of 1.30 p.m. UK time. On Monday, it was announced by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club that acclaimed rock band Red Hot Chili Peppers will perform at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on Friday, the 21st of July, 2023, as part of a global tour. The Roots and King Princess will join the band for the London show. On Sunday afternoon, the Tottenham Hotspur women lost 1-0 whilst playing away at Reading in the Women's Super League. Uh, Tottenham Hotspur women manager Rianne Skinner was disappointed with the performance and said, I think that the better team won actually and sometimes you have to be able to take that. Obviously it's not good enough from our perspective and we all agree that in the first 20 minutes I was really disappointed with the way that we approached the game. I felt it took us too long to get into it. Rianne Skinner then went on to say we gave Reading a lead and to be fair to them they worked really hard and made it really difficult for us to get back into the game. I thought the subs made a positive difference and we created our best chances in that following spell but couldn't quite get the ball over the line to get a point out of the game so it's disappointing. Three Tottenham Hotspur players were on international duty on Monday at the World Cup in Qatar. Ivan Perisic starting the game for Croatia, playing 105 minutes for them. The game went into extra time after a 1-1 draw. Ivan Perisic uh, scoring his country's only goal. Uh, Croatia won the game 3-1 on penalties and he is now through to the quarterfinals. So many congratulations to Ivan Perisic. Um, Richarlison started for Brazil as they beat South Korea 4-1. Richarlison scoring uh, Brazil's third goal in the game. Hunmin Son played for South Korea, playing the full 90 minutes. A report has just been published by Team Talk all about Spurs target Ruslan Malinovsky. It states a long-awaited Tottenham transfer has vanished and a media storm in Italy is to blame. While Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano has talked up the chances of signing a Manchester United target in January who is both affordable and gettable. The Daily Express recently stated that Tottenham's January transfer window is expected to be busy. However, according to reports out of Italy, one item on the agenda can now be crossed off. 
The report states that Spurs have been linked with Atalanta and Ukraine midfielder Ruslan Malinovsky dating back to the summer. The 29-year-old would represent a cost-effective and ready-made addition to the attacking ranks, given he's valued at around €18 million, Euros, the equivalent of £15 million. Pounds. Malinovsky operates in central areas and would provide Antonio Conte with more of a goal threat through the spine of the team, but reports in Italy are stating that Tottenham's proposed move has now collapsed. The reasoning stems from the scandal involving Serie A giants Juventus. Also in this report, it says that the club's entire board of directors have now all resigned following investigation by the Turin Public Prosecutor's Office into fraudulent accounting and alleged hidden payments to players. Also under the microscope are deals overseen by current Tottenham chief Fabio Prasci while he was employed by Juventus. As such, the report states that the Malinovsky deal, which was already complex enough, has now been complicated further by a media storm brewing in Italy. Signing Malinovsky at present is now deemed inappropriate and the Ukraine star is now labelled further away from North London than ever before. Also in the report from Team Talk, it says a deal could be resurrected at a later stage, but for the January window at least, the move has vanished. In more positive news for Tottenham, transfer guru Fabrizio Romano has labelled a Manchester United target who is both gettable and affordable a great solution for Antonio Conte. That player is Jonathan David, and Fabrizio Romano has stated that Jonathan David has made it clear he wants to play in the Premier League. So where could the Lille striker end up? At the moment, there are no conversations or contracts between Spurs and Lille or Jonathan David's agents. But Tottenham were informed on David one year ago, but it's still quiet. Um, I think he'd be a great solution for many clubs, including Tottenham. He's a very good striker. Now, my thoughts on these stories in this episode, let's start by talking about the World Cup. Um, now, on Monday evening, Brazil beat uh, South Korea 4-1. Of course, Hoon Min Son will now be travelling home um, back to London. Um, but Richarlison is doing tremendously well. Um, the goals that he has scored in this World Cup so far, you know, two out of the three have been absolutely sensational. They really have. Uh, another fantastic goal against South Korea on Monday, uh, wishing him all of the very best. But of course, I want to see England win this competition uh, and England are doing very, very well uh, at the moment. So, uh, you know, they'll be playing uh, against Hugo Lloris, of course, on Saturday. Um, Kane against Lloris, that'll be an interesting one. Lloris will be... Uh, Getting the record for winning 143 caps, that will be the uh, he will become the most cap player for his country. And of course, if Harry Kane scores, he will equal Wayne Rooney's record with 53 goals. If he scores two goals in the game, he will even beat Wayne Rooney's record against club captain Hugo Lloris. So that is going to be such a, a great game on Saturday. Um, Perisic is doing extremely well for Croatia, as we know. Uh, he's a fantastic player. Uh, got the goal against Japan. Um, he went off. Um, at half time in extra time um, so he didn't take a penalty uh, but luckily for him um, his teammates got the job done and he will now be playing in the quarterfinals as well so uh, best of luck to all of the Spurs players still involved in Qatar. Now, lots of reports in Italy are stating that the Ruslan Malinovsky deal is now off. Um, it is going to be an interesting January transfer window, um, particularly when uh, Fabio Prasci is reportedly um, under investigation. Um, this is going to be interesting times. Of course, all of us Spurs fans are calling out for decent transfers and a decent transfer window because... Um, you know, what we did in last January transfer window, um, Kulisewski and Bentonker coming in, uh, we need a very similar window to that, uh, i.e. two players, or even more, um, but two, I would say, uh, is realistic, uh, two players walking in to the starting eleven. Uh, if I was to choose two positions where I think that we really, really do need to improve right now, it is defensively um, a centre-back, and definitely a right wing back. Uh, a right wing back for me is is got to be top of the list, especially the way Antonio Conte likes to play um, his system. Um, you know, I don't feel that any of our um, right wing backs are going to do a job for us. Um, I know a lot of people are calling out for Jed Spence. I can't see um, that happening this season. Um, perhaps next season, but but certainly not now. Antonio Conte um, hasn't really given him um, much of a chance. And uh, I just don't feel that Emerson Royale is good enough to deliver what Antonio Conte needs and demands.
Now, it'll be an interesting one, as I said, about Fabio Prasci because uh, hopefully he can continue in his role um, at Tottenham whilst being under investigation. Um, of course, the whole of the Juventus board has now resigned, uh, so it will be interesting to see what happens with Fabio. Um, but there is more than enough people to deal with transfers in the January transfer window if Fabio can't do his job. Um, it'll be interesting. Let's wait and see. Um, we've got Greta Steenston, who, of course, is uh, Fabio's deputy. And, of course, Daniel Levy can get deals done as well. Um, but definitely, definitely we need transfers in January. No excuses. Antonio Conte needs to be backed in the right way. And, of course, we need to be finishing in those Champions League spots. And, of course, we all know that all the teams around us will all strengthen. They will all go out. They will all spend money. Um, it is just... Um, a matter now of us trying to get the best deals done possible. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.